Hi students. Today we are going to start a new topic which is coordinate geometry. So what does this coordinate geometry mean? First, what do you mean by coordinate? Okay. See, coordinate system or coordinate you might have studied in the last classes also. Uh, just to I'll recap all the things what we studied in the last class, like last class on the schools in your 8th or 9th standards. You can just look at this. This is your and the all of you know graph book, right? In this, in that, we, you might have observed the quadrants, like uh, in the Cartesian system. This we call it as Cartesian system. In the Cartesian system, we call it as first quadrant. This is not a new thing to you. I'm just, re, uh, you know, like uh, whatever you studied, I'm just recapping. Y, Y dash. This is called as positive x axis, negative x axis, positive y axis, negative y axis. And this is called as first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Okay, first quadrant, second quadrant, fourth quadrant. And this is called origin, which is represented with O. Correct? And origin points are 0, 0. In ninth standard, you studied how to plot a point. For example, if you want to plot 1, 1, imagine this is 1, I just assume this is 1, and this is 1. So this point will be 1, 1. Correct? So here we found the point as 1, 1. And how do you plot it? In last 9th standard, we discussed about it. So it means this is called as x coordinate and this second one is called y coordinate. Always first one is called x coordinate. The second one we call it as y coordinate. Okay. So now how, how do you plot it? So always remember 1. 1 means x coordinate 1. Correct. x coordinate 1 means x is making 1 unit distance with y axis. x is making 1 unit distance with y axis. Similarly, y coordinate 1 means y is making x, what is it, 1 unit distance with x axis. Okay, means this x coordinate means you should take from y axis and y coordinate means you should take from x axis. It's very careful. Don't do in the other way. 1 comma 1 means 1 unit distance here. Exactly 1 unit. Maybe 1 centimeter in your graph sheet. So one centimeter or one unit distance from x axis, uh, sorry, y axis and one unit distance from x axis. Where these two will intersect or meet, that is your one comma one. Similarly, I'll just go with another one, one comma two. See, just upper side, I'll take that one comma two. So where one comma two will be located, First, you have to draw a line here, which will make one unit distance from x axis, sorry, y axis, one unit distance from y axis, correct? And remember, one is always x coordinate. So for x coordinate, it should take from distance from y axis. So from y axis, it should make one unit distance and the two unit distance, here to here it is one and again here to here it is one more, means one plus one. So it's just one comma two. That is how you will, you know, plot the points. This is uh, just we studied this in the last year also. So remember, this is how we plot the points. And always x and y are positive in this first quadrant. X and y are positive. Okay, understood. Next, in second coordinate, your y correct. Y is positive x is negative, correct, x axis negative, if you can write the numbers, like plot the numbers also, you can just uh, write here like this, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, here you will get 1, sorry, 1, 2, it is just only rough plot, 3 and 4, here again, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, you can, by looking at this, you can say, see how, 
here we have y positive x positive so it is both are positive here here x is negative and y is positive similarly in the third quadrant if you look at here both are negative see x axis is also negative and y axis is also negative so x is negative y is also negative what about this fourth quadrant you have x is positive and y is negative this is how our quadrant system on this quadrant system we call it as cartesian coordinate system so this is just as i said this is just a you know recap or uh, you know like revision for you for your 10th standard mathematics coordinate geometry 10th standard topic so here we are going to discuss the topic which is distance between two points so what is this distance between two points it means we are finding the distance between any two points for example if you have for example 1 comma 2 and 4 comma 1 so how to find distance between these two points we have a formula this derivation is not important and it is not required you just remember this formula what is that formula for example see distance between two points this is x1 y1 x2 y2 we are taken the generally two points we are taken so in general form we are taken that is why this x1 y1 x2 y2 so now when you consider these two other points so what is the formula it is distance between two points equal to root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square okay root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square here it is the very you know like you will be getting one mark sum based on this topic in your uh, you know 10th exams you know final board exams it is very easy just you have to take the coordinates they will only provide you the coordinates you just plug in plug in in the sense you have to substitute substitute in the place of x2 x1 and y2 y1 and find the value that is how you have to do the sum okay so first you have to remember the formula and here if you do any mistake okay if you take positive or negative negative or positive your answer will be completely wrong so you should be very careful when you are substituting the values first let me take one sum find the distance between pair of points here first pair is 2 comma 3 and sorry 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1 so now here it is very easy you have to consider the first one as the first one what is there x1 y1 so take it as the x1 y1 understood it means the x1 value is 2 y1 value is 3 similarly x2 value is 4 y2 value is so we have to find distance distance between two points what is the formula we have which is root of i'm writing the same formula again always remember write the formula because writing the formula is very important okay because for this also you will get marks so that is the reason without formula not only in the coordinate geometry in any topic you have to write the formula then you have to substitute the values okay some students they will not write this they will directly substitute the values you may lose marks for that so don't do that x2 minus x1 what is the x2 value here 4 minus what is the x1 value 2 whole square some people will not square uh, not write the square that is also the common mistake students will do Square is there, remember. And next, 1 minus 3. Whole square. Understood? Remember, as you have square, you will never get negative values. Means if you are getting any negative value inside the root, means you might have done substitution wrong. Understood? There is no chance of getting negative value inside the root. In this case, because square is there. Understood? Whenever you square any value, you will get only positive. For example, you have minus 1 square. What is that? Plus 1. Because minus 1 square is minus 1 into minus 1, which is plus 1. So, where you get negative value? Okay. So, here there is no chance of getting negative values at all. So, 4 minus 2, which is 2. 2 square and 
remember 1 minus 3 is minus 2 square so right square no problem okay minus 2 whole square so now what is this 2 square is 4 plus minus 2 square what is minus 2 square minus 2 square is minus 2 into minus 2 which is plus 4 as I said you will never get negative value even though you have minus 3 square you should get plus 9 you will never get any negative value because of the square remember so root 4 root of 4 plus 4 which is root 8 so what is the distance between 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1 it is root 8 units units it may be depends on the scale what you take you can take it as root 8 units okay or you can write root 8 so I will just explain you once again we have two points 2 comma 3 4 comma 1 we are finding the distance between these two points just look at the formula what we have distance between two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 is are equal to root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so just I'll assume first coordinate as x1 y1 second coordinate as x2 y2 so we are finding distance between two points just you write the formula once again and first one first coordinate you take it as x1 y1 x1 as 2 and x y1 as 3 don't take in the other way y1 as 2 and x1 as 3 is completely wrong always first like coordinate or first the number in the coordinate always represents x only x coordinate itself so 2 comma 3 x1 y1 next 4 comma 1 x2 y2 this substitute x2 minus x1 4 minus 2 square remember square is a 4 minus 2 square plus 1 minus 3 y2 minus y1 so 1 minus 3 1 minus 3 whole square so 4 minus 2 is 2 square plus 1 minus 3 is minus 2 correct so minus 2 square 2 square is 4 plus minus 2 square is 4 root of in the root 4 plus 4 is root 8 okay you can stop there now similarly we will do one more sum of the same type here also the same thing first one you take it as x1 second coordinate you take it as x y1 and here again this you take it as x2 and y2 x1 y1 and x2 y2 distance between two points what is the distance between two points same formula to write once again x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square okay so just substitute what is x2 here minus a and minus a here also we have the same here x2 is minus a and here we have minus so take minus and again we have here we have a so it becomes minus a minus a whole square next minus b here again minus you put and again we have b so minus b this sign is this sign no okay minus b as it is written minus as it is and this value in the place of y we have b so the reason is minus b minus b what is minus a minus a it will be minus 2a correct minus a minus a is what minus 2a plus minus b minus b is minus 2b whole square okay remember square you have to remember should keep the square minus a minus a is minus 2a the whole square plus minus b minus b which is minus 2b the whole square so what is 2a whole square the square belongs to both the terms so it will become minus 2 square correct like this minus 2a whole square is nothing but minus 2a into minus 2a minus into minus plus 2 into 2 4 a into a a square so what will be the answer 4 a square so 4 a square plus minus 2 b square similarly just replace a with b so minus 2 b whole square will become minus 2 b into minus 2 b which is minus into minus plus 2 into 2 4 b into a b is b square so you'll get root of 4 a square plus 4 b square so your answer will be root of 4 a square plus 4 b square so here you see still we can simplify this 4 i can take common from this 
4 I can take common from this so take 4 common because 4 is there with both the terms so I take in common and this is nothing but you can uh, remember one formula root of a b or root of a into b which is nothing but root a into root b correct when it is multiplied it is only for this if for example if you have root of a plus b you cannot write root a plus root b this is wrong this formula we don't have usually students will ask the same doubt that's why i'm clarifying here root of a plus b is not equal to root a plus root b but root of a b is equal to root a into root b when it is only for multiplication and division also not for addition and subtraction in the root we cannot take separately in the addition and subtraction so this can be done as root 4 into root of a square plus b square root 4 is 2 correct and remaining you write as it is 2 is 2 root of a square plus b square that will be the answer for this sum i'll just you know like once again i'll repeat we are taken x1 y1 as a and b x2 y2 as x minus a and minus b just i written the formula distance between the points root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so that is the formula which we discussed so now what is the x2 value here minus 8 i just substituted minus 8 and same minus sign will come there and what is the x1 which is a so minus a minus a nothing i am doing wherever x2 x1 x2 x1 uh, what is what is that x2 y2 x1 y1 wherever those places are there just i am substituting the values that's all nothing else so x2 is minus a and minus as it is x1 is a similarly y2 is minus b minus y1 is b so minus a minus a whole square plus minus b minus b whole square forgot to keep square square is important so minus 2a whole square plus minus 2b whole square so which is minus 2a whole square is 4a square and minus 2b whole square is 4b square got it so here as i said minus 2a whole square is nothing but minus 2a into minus 2a so minus into minus plus 2 into 2 4 a into a a square so this minus 2a whole square becomes 4a square similarly minus 2b whole square becomes 4b square same formula or same uh, like you know like the same pattern what i did here same thing you do it once again with minus 2a minus 2b into minus 2b you'll get 4b square so in this you might have remember this formula root of a b is nothing but root a into root b i am just using the same formula here here you can observe 4a square plus 4b square in that take 4 common because 4 is there in both the terms take 4 common to become 4 into a square plus b square and this is this formula is applicable here correct so here two terms are there root 4 and sorry uh, 4 and a square plus b square so this root belongs to both the terms so root 4 into root of a square plus b square what is root 4 2 and root of a square plus b square as it is because we cannot further simplify that so your answer will be 2 into root of a square plus b square the same thing i written once again that's all okay yeah i hope you understood this and one more sum we are going to discuss here collinear have you guys know what is collinearity mean okay the question is determine if the points are collinear whether these points are collinear or not what do you mean by collinear see collinear is nothing but points lie on a same line if for example here three points are there right imagine that three points are lying like this okay one comma five two comma three minus two comma minus eleven so these are the three different points just an, uh, you know just i'm taking as an example don't uh, compare this with the graph sheet that obviously it is different you will not get the same uh, places for them understood the change just i'm making you understand by writing like this. so a b c i'll take so what are these three points i'm naming it as first point i named as a second point i named as b third point i named as c so 
Here we have to use the distance formula understood to prove that they are collinear. So here you understand if they are lying on the same line the distance between AB distance formula we can use see distance between two points AB and distance between BC should be equal to distance between A and C. Understood? Then they can say these three points are on the same line. See remember collinear is nothing but points lie on a same line. For example, you, your friend and you, for example, you are sitting here. Imagine that you are sitting on a line. Correct? When you do some prayer or assembly, now it is not there before. Like last year we were doing assembly, right? So you used to stand like this and you will maintain a proper distance between uh, you and your friend and again one more friend you will be having same distance between you imagine like that so A to B distance and B to C distance and distance between these two A and C if all these three distances some of these two distances like here to here and here to here okay means distance between A and B and distance between B and C is equal to distance between A and C then we can say that these three points A, B, C are collinear. Means collinear means what? They lie on a same line. That's all. Name itself is collinear. Collinear. Linear means what? It is on a line. Collinear means points which are on the same line are lying on the line. Understood? So here, what we have to find first, you find the three points. You write like this on the same line. First, you find the distance between A and B. Use the distance formula and find distance between A and B. And again, find distance between B and C. And then, distance between A and C. Distance between the points A and C. If distance between A, B and B, C. Addition of these two distances is same as distance between A and C. Then we can say that these three points are collinear. If not, if you will not get the same LHS is not equal to RHS, then obviously they are not collinear. Means they are not, they are not lying on a same line. Okay, fine. I'll remove this. Okay, what we have to do, I explained. So now, what we have to find first, find distance between let A, the point A is 1 comma 5 and B, 2 comma 3 and C, I am assuming it as minus 2 comma minus 11. So, I'll just write here smallly, like smaller, uh, small diagram I can write here. So that what we have to do, AB plus BC, we should prove, we need to prove that, prove that AB plus BC should be equal to CA. Correct? This we have to prove. So now, first find distance between points A and B. Distance between A and B. Or you can directly write distance AB. Okay? Distance between A and B. So what is the formula we have? Root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This is the distance from the same what we did for the last two sums. The same thing we are going to do here. So what is x2? Yeah, we are considering A and B. Remember, A, B. In this pencil, you write down like this. Under those points, if you write like that, you will not get confused. A, B, if you are taking, the first one will be x1, y1. Next point will be x2, y2. So, x2 minus x1. 2 minus 1, whole square. Next, y2 minus y1. 3 minus 5, whole square. Correct? So, what do you get? Root of 2 minus 1. 1 square. Square is there. 3 minus 5, minus 2 square. So, which will give you 1 square is 1, minus 2 square. Minus 2 square is nothing but minus 2 into minus 2. Minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 4. So, which will give you root of 1 plus 4, 5. Correct? Distance between A and B is 5. Got it? Now, we have to find distance between B and C. We have to find distance between B and C. So same formula you have to 
use here to find the distance between B and C. Got it? I hope you understood that collinear part properly because collinear means the points lie on a same line. Remember, that is very important. If you don't know that technique or logic, your sum will not be completed. Simply finding the distance will not give you the answer for your sum. You have to use that logic. Distance between A and B, right? Now, you will find the distance between next. What is the next? You have to find distance between B and C, correct? When you find the distance between B and C, this you take it as x1, y1, okay? Next, you this you take it as x2, y2, okay? So anyway, we are not taking A, just leave it. So B and C, we are finding the distance between. So take B as distance between B and C as B points as x1, y1. Next, C will be x2, y2. So distance between B and C. What do you get? Root of, same. Again, you write the formula here. x2 minus x1, the whole square, plus y2 minus y1, the whole square. Correct? So what do you get? x2 minus x1. What is x2 there? Minus 2. Next. Minus 2. Correct? x2 is minus 2. Again, minus x1 is 2. Plus y2 minus y1. So again, y, y2 is minus 11. And this is minus 3. Correct? y1 is minus 3. So minus 11 minus 3 is the whole square. So we'll get minus 4 square whole square plus minus 14 the whole square. Isn't it? Okay, minus 11 minus 3 is minus 14. So what do you get? Root of 4 square minus 4 square is plus 16. Minus 4 square is plus 16 and minus 14 square is 14 square. 14 into 14. It's okay, minus 14 into minus 14 which will give you plus 190. Six. So what do you get? Uh, six, six, twelve, one ninety-six plus sixteen, right? So twelve, eleven, two hundred and twelve. You will get. Okay, two hundred and twelve. Next, distance between also another one. Distance between A e and C. Correct? When you find distance between A and C, what do you get? Same formula is x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square which is equal to, again A and C if you consider, this you take it as x1, y1 and this you take it as x2, y2. C you take it as x2, y2. So no need of taking B there. So you just mark the points. If you have a pencil, just write under those points you write x1, y1 which for example if you are taking finding distance between A and C under A, point A you write x1, y1 second one C, there you write x2 B anyway, it is not there here don't worry about it. So now root of x2 minus x1 whole square so what is x2 there? Minus 2 what is your x1? Minus 1 whole square next what is y2? Minus 11 and what is your y1? minus 5. So what do you get? Root of minus 3 the whole square plus minus 16 the whole square. Correct? Minus 11 minus 5 is minus 16. So what do you get? We will continue here. So root of minus 2 minus 1 which is minus 3. So minus 3 the whole square plus here minus 16. Yeah. So, what is minus 3 whole square and minus 16 whole square? 3 square. Minus 3 into minus 3 because minus into minus would become plus. As I said, if square is there, you will never get minus. So, minus 3 into minus 3 plus 9. 16 into 16, which is 256. Correct? 256 root of 256 plus 9. How much? 256 plus 9 will be? 265. Correct? We got it as distance between A and C as root 65. Correct? Now you look at these three values. 
what is the distance between AB we got? I'll write here. Distance between AB we got it as root 5. And distance between BC we got root of 212. And distance between AC we got root 265. So if you add this AB plus BC when you do, you just check root 5 plus root 212. Obviously we cannot add Okay, because irrational numbers you cannot add. Because you should get root 5. Correct. For example, if root 5 is there here, again if it is uh, like multiple of root 5, then only we can add. It's completely different. See, oh, root 5, root 212, root 265. By looking at that numbers itself, you can finalize the answer. Or you can conclude the answer. You can conclude here. What you can say that AB, what you can say is AB plus BC is not equal to CA or AC. Correct? AB and plus BC is not equal to AC. So what we can conclude? We can say that given points are not collinear. Okay? Given points are not collinear. Understood? Okay? Why? Because whatever the assumption, whatever the, you know, like, uh, Assumption we did before, whatever, what it should be, the logic, what we, behind this, is what? AB plus BC should be equal to CA. Correct, we did AB, we did, and we did BC and we did CA. Obviously, when we add it, we are not getting the LHS is obviously not equal to RHS. Correct? AC distance is not equal to the sum of the distance of AB and BC. So, we can finalize or we can conclude that these given three points are non-collinear or not collinear. Okay? Means they will not lie on a same line. That's all. Okay? Yeah. I'll just repeat. It is uh, already we just distance formula we did for two more uh, last two sums. Just what we are con considering we have to check whether these three points given uh, points 1 comma 5, 2 comma 3 and minus 2 comma minus 11 are collinear. So for that what logic we are using? We are just taking these three points on a line and if these three points on a line, the distance between AB and distance between BC you will find and we will find the distance between AC. If all this, sum of this distance is AB and BC, this sum is equal to the distance between A and C or C and A, if that satisfies, means just like LHS is equal to RHS, if you are able to prove that condition, then we can say that the given three points are collinear. For that what we did, we found the distance between AB, we got root 5 and we found the distance between BC, we got 212, we found the distance between AC, we got 265. So we, we added AB and BC, we added and we cannot even add it because they are irrational numbers. So we cannot, we cannot add root, root 212 and 5 and obviously that is not equal to root 265. So we can conclude that this, all these three given points are not collinear. Okay, I hope you understood, you understood the things properly, yeah, thank you, thank you very much and please share, comment and subscribe to our channel, take care and have a good day.